Yo, what is up? So today I want to talk about something that is a common complaint against trans people existing, gay people existing, that sort of business, where there is an argument advanced where they say, put them on a desert island and see how long they last. And it's one of those things where it sounds like a good argument on first inspection, but then when you think about it for a minute, it is actually really stupid because right why is that a good uh test to see if a group of people deserve to exist like trans people exist gay people exist and you're saying if they were put on a desert island they wouldn't last very long presumably they wouldn't be able to procreate is the is the argument so that means they need to not exist anymore you could say the same thing about a group of people who are unable to get pregnant like if they are um you know sterile if, if they've had some sort of uh, operation that has rendered them unable to get pregnant or to impregnate other people um it's it's like not really a moral argument it's just saying this group of people can't procreate so if you put them on a desert island they're not going to be able to carry on to future generations so they need to stop existing now the other problem is, okay, you're putting them on a desert island, so they don't have access to modern uh, medical equipment. Are any of them midwives? Are any of them doctors? I don't know. Are any of them Bear grills or a person who is able to survive on a desert island? All of these questions aren't really uh, examined in this put them on a desert island situation. And it's kind of like... I don't know, it's a mad, it's a mad thing to say, right, like, from start to finish, because put any group of people on Desert Island and see how long they last is the real sort of challenge, right, that's, that's why there are um, game shows in which groups of people are put on a Desert Island to see how long they last, and normally the answer is not very long unless they get um, regular supply drops, because it's quite difficult to survive on a Desert Island and even in that, like, Castaway film starring Tom Hanks, it's a guy who is, like, physically fit. He's heterosexual, so why can't he survive on a de desert island very long? He doesn't have anyone to procreate with, so he can't produce children. But even if there were hundreds of Tom Hanks-type people, heterosexual uh, people, on this desert island, okay, they'd be able to procreate, that's great, but then how many of them would die in childbirth? How many of the kids would die um, from various diseases? Because they wouldn't have access to uh, vaccinations of any kind. Presumably the people that are sort of advancing this argument don't believe in vaccines anyway, but there's no medical equipment on this desert island. There's no hospitals on this desert island. There's no... It, it's just such an insane proposition to say put them on a desert island and see how long they last. There is a critical mass of human beings required in order to continue uh, humanity. Like, say if there was a, a you know nuclear war and humanity was almost wiped out, I think it's something like 15,000 people. You need a certain number of people to exist in order for there to be sufficient genetic variation uh, so that you don't just all end up like the British royal family where you're just inbred beyond belief uh, and, and you just sort of die out because you become sort of deformed monsters like Prince Charles or King Charles. So I don't know what you think this argument is there for, apart from to say, I don't like that trans people exist. This uh, desert island situation would lead to their destruction. If you put them, if you put them all on a desert island that could contain all trans people that exist, they would eventually die out because apparently they're unable to procreate. Even if you put all trans people on a desert island and they had access to uh, medical equipment and doctors and midwives and everything else they need, vaccinations, to survive for many generations, they would still be able to procreate, right? There is the ability... Even if you're going to say they don't have IVF technology, right, which we do have in the in the current uh, world, right, gay people can have babies, trans people can have babies, 
it's just like such a stupid argument. These people are so dumb and it's like you're saying because they can't survive on a desert island they don't deserve to exist. I don't know, it, it's like this sickening uh, idea that you're gonna attribute, uh, like what if you put a bunch of like wheelchair people, like a bunch of disabled people on a desert island and they can't get around, or like you put them on an island full of stairs where they can't possibly get up and down stairs, or put a bunch of blind people on a desert island, they can't see what they're doing. Any group of people, like diabetic, you put a bunch of diabetic people on a desert island and they don't have access to their medicine, they're all gonna die. Like, it's just such a crazy scenario that you're setting up. And it's always these like dweebs, like Ben Shapiro and like Matt Walsh and his, and their like group of um, freaks where they're like, well, actually, if you put them on a desert island, they wouldn't be able to last very long because they, uh, whatever. And it's like, dude, if Ben Shapiro went on a desert island, he would last five minutes because he'd trip over and smash himself in the face and just die immediately. Like these dweebs do not have any ability to look after themselves in a, in a you know, desert island situation. Like it's super hard. And in any case, if you got like a gum infection or anything, most people in societies, in prehistoric societies would have died from some sort of gum disease or like some, you know, common cold situation where they don't have like basic medicine that's going to enable them to survive and you're talking about if you put all trans people on desert island see how long they last it's just like absolute madness that these people think this way and that it's a valid argument that these people should stop existing right now i don't know i don't know why i don't know why these people uh have any following i mean what can you do but it annoyed me. It annoyed me enough to think about it for like five minutes and come to some sort of uh, conclusions about the poor rationale for uh, for this argument, basically. Anyway, I've done a workout today, so that's the important thing. And um, that's all you can hope for, really. I feel like my chest workouts have got better since I've been trying to... Um, stretch out as much as possible like when you're on the when you're on the um you know bench press if you just really try to get your uh arms back as far as possible you gotta watch your shoulders obviously but i don't know my shoulders have been reasonably good recently but there we go i don't know maybe i'm the only person that thinks about these sorts of things but i probably watch too much ben shapiro and matt walsh and all those kind of guys anyway and i just feel like maybe their opinions are like more common than they actually are and they're not just like freaks on the fringe of society who are just rabbiting on about absolute nonsense but who knows anyway that's all i want to talk about you take care peace